Okay, so this is brand new and unexpected. This is by far the earliest I have ever seen one of these roadmaps come out. And now that I'm one of those YouTubers who doesn't just stream and actually makes videos, I feel like I need to talk about this stuff. And because I'm loving these new updates, I kind of want to just really, really get into it. So right now it is June 7th, 6-11. Uh, or 6-7, I should say. And so they released these roadmaps, if you're not aware, as to show, you know, kind of what's coming up in the future. And one thing that already caught my eye is that Stars and Stripes Jonesy is coming back, who I just spoke about in my Gamatron video that I just uploaded, like, an hour ago, not even, uh, mentioning that I've been using him to kind of effectively buff my mag size. However... Um, I, I, I was a little bit skeptical as to whether or not he'd be coming back, but as you can see within a couple of weeks, or, or at least a month, I think, or so, he, he is coming back, which is expected because he was kind of a 4th of July hero, so, star, same with Star Spangled Headhunter, so, you know, Patriot Penny, Old Glory AC, they're all coming back, and I'm excited about it, but going back to the beginning, we get a sci-fi pistol coming out, which is interesting, because I, um, thought we already had one of those, but... Never mind. Uh, we have no idea what that's going to be. Uh, apparently, these projectiles are out of this world. I hope that that's another laser gun because I really, really want one of those. And then, of course, Quantum Countdown is, um, you know, I, I don't know. The thing that I don't love about theory crafting and making videos about, you know, updates and such like this is that we don't really know anything. I'm excited, and I hope that you guys can share that excitement with me, but we don't know anything. So... What this quantum countdown is going to be is anybody's next guess, but apparently we've got teleporting bombs. So, I mean, say no more. Now, exciting enough is what we do know. Chromium Ramirez and Diecast Jonesy are returning. Diecast Jonesy, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I think he's Warcry or Going Commando. He buffs one of those perks, I, I think. Uh, not the most standout hero ever, but Chromium Ramirez is really, really good for one very important reason. She is, as far as I'm aware, the only hero in the entire game that currently buffs reload speed. So on an empty magazine, as her is your commander, she buffs your reload by 50% when you're empty. So that is really, really effective, especially considering that it is taking part in her support perk right now, which I hope never gets patched, but it might, it might, okay? It might get patched, but I, I really hope it doesn't because we really need a reload perk. And then, of course, we got SSD Endurance. How many waves can you... Oh, my God. That sounds a lot like Horde. Are they bringing Horde back? Are they bringing a version of it back? Because it was around this time when it came out. That's really, really cool. They're giving you more things to do in your Storm Shield defense. So if you're going to just sort of see how long you can last in your Storm Shield defense, that could be really, really fun. I mean, it might get a little bit repetitive depending on how they do it, but I, I'm i excited about that, honestly. Yeah. Base from version and resupply... Oh, okay. Resupply was junk. I hated that. But Retrieve the Data Beta Storm version is interesting because I don't... Love the beta storm. I don't like the idea of the storm closing in. However, retrieve the data. You could start the mission right away without blue glow as soon as you are ready. So it was like an eight minute defense, you know, plus however long you took to get that going. So that's really, really awesome. I'm excited about that. Um, Sci-fi bat. I energy or well, nature. What am I saying? <laughs> Melee weapons in general, uh, they, they scare me because they're either really, really good or really, really useless. But a new sci-fi bat is exciting enough, honestly. The sci-fi weapons are winning me over. New quests available each day. Complete all 14. Unlock a, an explosive weapon, which is, I'm not mistaken, one of, he, one of these? The sci-fi launcher, maybe? Mm -hmm, maybe? No? Okay. And then a complete the 14 event quest. Unlock Star and Stripes Jonesy, which I will hopefully be doing. I hope that that's not, like, I hope this, you know, stays active for you to unlock it, like, you know, maybe on the 14th day you can do all of them, because if you have to do a new one only for the given day, that could be really stressful, but they've done this pretty okay in Battle Royale, you know, if they give you, like, 14 days, you know, a new mission every day, and then a week afterwards to clean them up, that'd be awesome, that would be awesome, War Games Shortcut. All I know is shortcut sounds like a really good term, because they, they got rid of the thing where you skip the first wave, but... Uh, maybe they're adding a better way to do these faster. I hope. I don't know. I already talked about the Star Spangled Heroes. Patriot Penny, I don't really know what she does, and I don't know what Our Glory AC does. These are heroes that I haven't done a ton of research in on, so I am I actually don't know. And I don't have the game open because I'm rendering a video, but if you guys know what they do and you're excited about it, let me know in the comments below. Freedom's Herald is one of the silliest pistols in the game. I think I have one. I don't know. It was in the game when it came out. I was playing when it came out. Uh, it obviously it was in the game when it came out, but I was playing when it came out, and uh, I think I picked one up, but I didn't know it was an event weapon, so I probably just put it in the book. Meltdown, awesome that they're adding new War Games missions every single week, it seems, almost every single week, because 
I think war games could get really, really exciting if they just keep adding more and more fun ways to play, because people will have their certain favorite ways to play, and that'll be awesome. Sci-Fi Launcher is something that we were talking about yesterday on stream. I streamed for like 12 hours. I am... We, we talked about how I was I was excited I, I, to get a launcher. I, I think a brand new launcher could be awesome. Like, a noble launcher is probably the closest thing we'd have to, like, a sci-fi weapon. But uh, I have no idea what they could do with this. I'm hoping that it's like the BFG from uh, Doom. You know where you shoot that big projectile through a room and it kind of zaps everything as it goes? I don't know. War Games Double Trouble. Again, I mean, these are just names. Until they come out, we can't really know anything. And they say that we wanted to give you a heads up that the sci-fi line will be available until the launch of V9.4, which is the week of 7.16. Awesome. I'm going to stop right there because in the video that I covered today, in the Gamatron, I mentioned that there was a rumor that they're only going to be available for a week. I thought that was ridiculous. Still do. Uh, and this here is giving us proof that they obviously heard that rumor and are clearing it up, that they are, you know, they're, they're giving you way longer with these llamas, than, like, like over a month with these sci-fi llamas. And then the sci-fi llama will be replace, replaced by year two birthday llama and similar to last year providing a comprehensive checklist of items that you can snag from the llama closer to its launch, which means they'll give us more updates just like this uh, so we know what's coming. Okay, the two year, year two llama will be cost a thousand tickets, just same as last year. Yeah, yeah just, just set it right there. Spend your tickets on sci-fi llama or stockpile them for a two year birthday llama. There you go. So we can save our tickets or spend them now. So now we know for sure, because I'm going to get this question a lot on stream and I'm happy I know the answer. I'd like to give a big shout out to everyone who's given us feedback since the launch of season 9. I've been able to track down effects mostly egregious war games, SD trap, durability, matchmaking, health scaling, and that has all been reported. Um, that should be... Additionally, we've been able to make significant improvements to the console performance over the course of the season because... Because of that help we've gotten from you, the community, we've also been further digging the reports of higher-end missions continue to not properly grant the people resources. Yeah, I'm not even sure what that means. Like, the, the people you get in-game for transforming stuff, it's not that major of a feature, but if you need that stuff, that could probably be really annoying if you're not getting it. Found the cause of this, and we'll have rescue survivor mission properly rewarding people. Yeah. Okay. And knowing Epic, they'll definitely probably give out a massive people package to everybody who's run those missions. I'm sure they'll make up for it. And then we're continuing to monitor these uh, status of each of these, so please continue to give us feedback. Let us know. Yeah. Let us know the issues you've been experiencing. PS Energy Jam will no longer cost bacon. <gasps> That's awesome. That's awesome. Because I'm... Oh, man. Calling all the way back again to my video. First comment on this video... First comment on this video, energy ammo is too expensive. And I know that he's talking about bacon. So that's a huge change. V9.3. When is that coming? Because I'm probably just going to keep crafting bacon anyway. Like ammo anyway, because I don't really care. I have enough bacon. But if you use a lot of energy ammo and you're using a lot of the new sci-fi weapons that is an extremely important thing to know and i love that they just snuck this in at the end all right well there you go i'm not gonna edit this at all i'm not gonna throw on any outro that's my video done and my cue to call it for this one uh i really just want this to be a quick and raw like my reaction to this and a quick reading with you guys uh i like i just showed i've made two videos today and i want to stream and this is all happening at once new updates and everything is exciting so I'm just going to probably throw this up on the channel and get you guys' feedback. So, yeah, chat with me in the comments below. Join our Discord link below. Uh, thank you to the patrons for supporting the channel, even though I won't be showing them in this video. Uh, click one of these videos, you know, new, recommended, etc. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.